It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas, and it's time to celebrate. No. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today's going to be a really fun day. I am definitely looking forward to trying another Christmas tradition from somewhere other than the United States. But Parker actually has something really cool that he wants to show you. He's very eager to show you. So, enjoy. This is um, a TikTok dance that me and Jacob learned. Last year, I learned this dance from Auntie Panty. Then I forgot it and I'm trying to make it so that I do this dance every single year for Christmas. And I already did it this year. And I did it again, so. Good plan. Ready. Walking in the winter wonderland. Santa Claus, Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Vets and a blitz and a here's a reindeer and all the rain. You can go to TikTok and see it, so. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Big Santa Blitz and I know. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, Advent time, huh? Oh, good. Today's number two. 21. Ooh, well, this Jakey's one. gonna help you. Oh! <gasps> yeah. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen, Luke. Wait, that is oh, a that cool is a car. Really cool car. I've never seen a car like that. It's interesting. Whoa! You got it. There you go. Stephen, come here. Okay. That's great. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, he's upset that that corner is flipped up a little. Hold on there, buddy. Vroom. Better? Is that all better? Better? Yeah, make sure that corner is down. Whoa. There's always the key first. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. Luke, I need your help. Luke, come help Duncan. Come on, we're doing Advent. He is in a pile of cars right now. See? <laughs> Sweet of you to try though, Duncan. What is it? Whoa. What do you see? <laughs> like a hundred daddies? Oh. You see like a hundred daddies? Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time in the history of histories that I've ever solved this without anyone's help, so. Yeah! yeah. All right, Rue, you ready to see what you get today? Rue's on her last row. Okay, it says bundle up and watch for shooting stars. And it's a dog bowl. Hey, you get a dog bowl. Dog bowl. Can you say dog bowl? Say dog bowl. Jacob's turn. Uh, I'll give it 21. Yeah. 
here. You've done Ooh, that. It's like the stark thing at like um what's it called? It's like where he stores his armor. Yeah, 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 ye
to myself. I'm just really impressed with you, Dickie. Here we go, number 21. It is a magic item that I'm not allowed to show. Oh. It is secrets. I will say though, it is the same secret that I've gotten four times. You only need one. I've gotten the same, same exact item in this advent calendar, which I can't show you four times. I grew up doing magic. I have done magic since I was three years old. I have only ever owned one of these things until this advent calendar. Like I've used the same one over and over and over again. Now you've got four. Now I have four. So I will be doing a magic trick with this. You'll see. You'll see later. It'll be fun. Look! Mini figures on here. Oh, it's that's so hard to do. Oh, look at that mini figure. I can't navigate get it the mini figure into place. It's a mini mini figure. Let me know when you finish, Jake. Look. Okay. Oh, over the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Please do that over the carpet. No. Okay. What? Just, yeah, we got a carpet cleaner. So mean. Not a carpet. Couch, I don't think carpet cleaners cleaner. actually clean slime. Oh. So maybe just don't do that in general unless you're outside. Oh, and oh. Jacob has completed his build. Look at now that. Now take it out. Through, are you going to leave it on the plastic or are you going to take it out? I think I'm going to take it out. Okay, moment of truth. No play paint. Oh, we've got an already built Lego here. Oh, what are the wow. chances? Here. Seems like I forgot to push down those, but uh, it's already Very built cool. with some extra pieces It's here. way easier to see out of the plastic. Why don't you build it out of the plastic? That might be easier. <laughs> you found yeah, some you found cheese? cheese. <laughs> Teddy woke up and now he gets to open two days. Oh boy. Because he was sleeping mm. yesterday. Okay, so we've got 20. <laughs> it's a little gift. Oh, it's a present. <gasps> Teddy, this is not for fun. your bear. Mm. And 21. Oh, it's, 21. Oh, oh, it's a it new bear. bear. You get a new bear, big boy. Oh, oh. It's so oh so classic. Mm. You happy cuddles. with your bears? Bear cuddles. <laughs> oh, you cuddling your bears? Now you like my instructions. Huh? You like your bears? <laughs> he loves his bears. He loves his bears. Yeah, he don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, Teddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, can you pick up his bear for him? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, thank oh, you. Oh, that's it. Oh, his other bear. Can you give him his other bear? Thank you, Luke. Oh, he's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he just dropped his bears. All right, I wanted to try another Christmas tradition from yes. a place. Uh, Jacob chose the place today. Where, where are we learning? Germany. About? Germany. So we're going to try some German Christmas food as well as talk about some German customs for or traditions during Christmas time. I wanted to read a couple comments from people who uh, say they're from Germany and talks about some of their traditions from the original video. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link up and around. We tried a bunch of uh, UK traditions and then uh, a couple days ago we also tried, what, what was it, baklava? Yeah, baklava and, and like sun-amazing Greek. Yeah, the Greek thing was, was really good. What was it yes. called? A co Cow. You never got it right. I never got it right. So <laughs> when, people helped with the pronunciation, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it's a difficult one. And we also tried stuff from Turkey. Hmm. Yes. Maybe. And I think I hear a, an awake child. All right, I'm gonna mispronounce a bunch of stuff during this, so forgive me, especially if I mispronounce your name. But I think this is Ulrika. She says in Germany we celebrate Christmas on 24th of December. Most of the families have potato salad, which I love, by it's the way. So good. Side note and wieners for dinner, and after that, we are handing out the presents. Typical desserts during Christmas are stolen, with raisins, poppy seeds, marzipan, or almonds, dominoes, dices of gingerbread, marzipan, and fruit, gali, covered in chocolate, and cookies, in parentheses she wrote, platschen, I think is how you say it, and we have New Year crackers, which are filled with little toys, 
claims, or jokes. Pudding in Germany is also a kind of custard. This person with the, the username Fufle, Fufle, Fufle? Well, how would you say it? Fufle? Fufle. Fufle. Fufu. Fufu. The advent calendar tradition actually originates from Germany, but nowadays it's obviously being done all around the world, which I think is pretty neat. And if that's true, that is super cool. I, I, I haven't done any research on advent calendars, which might be why I, I got kind of a scam one this year. Lulu says, in Germany, in my opinion, we have a pretty cute tradition. We have an advent wreath. It's a wreath made out of fur or other conifers. On this wreath are four candles and a bit of decoration. Every Sunday before Christmas, we light a new candle. So on Christmas Eve, they are all lit. I think it's cute and brings a bit of festivity feeling. And we have a pretty fun poem, we say, while lighting a new candle. And it goes like this. Advent, Advent, a little light is burning. First one, then two, then three, then four. Then the Christ child is at the door. And if the fifth light is on, you've slept through Christmas. Lulu says, I swear it rhymes in German. <laughs> and then also stockings are not common here, but we have something kind of similar, maybe a little in the night before December 6th, kids put their biggest shoe in front of the doors. St. Nicholas comes at night and puts little presents in the shoes. Today, I have two different treats for you guys to try. And actually, I have three versions of the first treat. So it's a lot of treats. Oh, well, you got it. I got a little white wig loop for you. Oh, is Luke coming down the stairs? Luke's coming. Luke's coming. You want to try some German treats? What? Hi, Luke. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, so today we will be trying the stolen, might be pronounced stolen, I'm not sure. That would be my guess. I'm yeah. It is a fruit bread of nuts, spices, and dried or candied fruit coated with powdered sugar or icing sugar and often uh, containing yeah. marzipan. It is a traditional German bread eaten during the Christmas season. So it fits this category perfectly. We have three different kinds. We have the marzipan, we have the marzipan orange, and we have the Christmas. Let's try all three. Here we have the Christmas stolen. Christmas! We Christmas. have the marzipan orange stolen, which this this also, it looks like the same ingredients in it. So I'm, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Christmas, I, I, orange, marzipan. Yeah. And then this is just a marzipan stolen. So they might be very similar. Yeah, they're probably oh, all gonna taste sure. very much I, the same. I have something that um, this one has yeah, this one's filled with marsh. Oh, very good, very good. Yes, there's a filling in this one, as there is in this one. So these ones might be very similar. So there are other stolens that are made. We didn't get all of them. Yeah. And by the way, we've picked up all of these foods at Cost Plus World Market. I saw some people asking about that. It wasn't online. It was at a store called Cost Plus World Market. I don't know how many other places have that. I thought it was all over the United States, but it might not be because some people didn't seem to understand what we were talking about when we said Cost Plus. You want that? You want that? You want that? Okay. Okay, let's have it. You ready? What do you think? Is that good? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's still eating. I'm so glad. How do people in Germany find a way to make this so good? Mm. Special traditional food that they work really hard on to make mm. just right. Yeah, but it's raw. That's really good. <laughs> That's incredible. It almost tastes like you're eating like a oh, marshmallow. Fluffy berry cloud. Almost a marshmallow. And that. Very good. Very raisiny. Jessica suggested we cut the marzipan one. Just to so make sure that nobody gets any end bits. See, there's, there's your layer of marzipan. <gasps> I think it's your turn, Luke. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Which do you prefer? Hard to choose? Hard to choose, okay. This one, the marzipan orange. Well, I'm excited. Yeah, I think this one's better now. I love marzipan. Mmm. 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 Do you want more? I like that one better. Yeah. Very good. That one had more of the cranberry orange too. Which I really like more than the like raisin tones. This one was in a fancy box, so we'll see what the difference is here. <laughs> Let's see how much marzipan is in there. Yeah, fill it up. This one definitely feels juicier. Oh, I love a juicy one. Like on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, open. <clears throat> is it so good? Does it get? <laughs> does it get a wink? <laughs> Can we bring all of these amazing traditions to the cookie party? Because I don't want anyone else to miss it, and I also want more. <laughs> Maybe next year, but we didn't plan for a cookie party. We yeah, next, next year we'll stock up on them. Yes! Oh, it's my turn. It's bad, my pot, my. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like tea. Baby bird. Yeah, that one's better. That one's my favorite. Do you want to feed mama? Oh, yeah. Now you're <laughs> I like when you say mama. Can you feed it to mama? <laughs> Thank you. Does that one have an edge of alcohol to it? Oh, does it? I don't think it has alcohol, but it kind of tastes like alcohol y. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. I'm not really getting the alcohol. Okay, this is me. No, but it's very good. You like very it? Good. Yeah. I think the second one was my favorite, the bagged one with the marzipan. It also had more cranberry and orange, which I like better than the raisin or sultana one. So I'm gonna try your favorite right now. Okay. Like it better? I do. It's a little drier. Yeah. So I, I would like the moisture of the last one mixed with the flavor of this one. And sorry for the funny filming angle from me. I'm actually um, being like baby shark cam because I'm sitting on baby shark here. <laughs> Sometimes with a family as large as ours, that's the only seating available. And the other thing recommended to us at Cost Plus World Market was this. It is uh, Niederegger Lübeck and it's marzipan pralines with dark chocolate. It is from Germany and it is for Christmas time, so we're gonna try these out as well. A star for you, a star for you, a star for you. Thank you. I just smelled it just now. And it smells very good. Should we do it like one, two, three, and then eat it? Or like sure. One, two, three. Ooh, there's something in the middle. What do you think? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. more, more. more. What do you think? <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's really good. It's really rich. Mm. I love it. I finished. I'm gonna try this too. I'm not sure it's my kind of thing. I've had better marzipan. Like I think part of it is that it's like packaged and not as fresh. Cause it's not like as flavorful, but it's still really good. I like it a lot. The kids have gone to bed. Jessica started wrapping presents and I realized I haven't shown you guys a magic trick yet. So this is from the wrapping paper. It's just a, a little piece of ribbon here. And what I'm gonna do is hold it like this and uh, make a little loop here. Perfect. I'm gonna cut the loop with a pair of scissors. So you can clearly see that it is cut into two pieces now. I'm gonna take these ends and just sort of rub them together like this in my hand, okay? And I just grab this end like this and pull, and it's completely restored, or capleo restorio. 
as I like to say. How is the present wrapping going? Awesome. I am so excited about what I'm doing this year because I wanted to try this new um, like fabric wrap for wrapping. It's a sustainable way of wrapping and I think that that's cool. We've been looking for new options in that direction. Not everything under our tree will be done this way, but most of the things I'm doing are. It's actually so much fun because I'm using all of my muslin baby blankets and I have like a real issue there. Like they're my favorite things in the world. And I've had so many babies that I've had a lot of excuses to buy them over the years. So I already have this like wrapping paper. And I started wrapping the first one like yesterday or the day before and it blew my mind how quickly everything came together. Like, it's wild. Stuff that would have taken me like, I don't know, an hour or two hours in the past took 10 minutes. And it's really fun. I really do like the way it looks. There has been a little bit of a discussion about how it's gonna feel to unwrap because it's like a different feeling. Like you're not it's ripping an paper. It's an untying. It's an untying, yeah. which I understand has maybe a little bit less excitement to it or might be a little confusing and new. I hope it's not too disappointing for them, but like they're still getting the present, so it's whatever. <laughs> it's worth trying something new. I mean, I, yeah, I, know, I feel like Christmas so has like a whole bunch of traditions and it's nice to like throw something totally new and different into the into the mix. Yeah. It'll definitely have a different feel, but they will still also get to unwrap things that's like crunchy and loud. It seems like something like really minor, especially when you're doing something to help the environment. Like that's obviously the priority other than like a little feeling that you get while opening something. But at the same time, like as a parent, I'm like, huh, physically opening a present is difficult for some kids. And maybe this will be better. Like maybe for like Luke, maybe this will be easier or good for him to practice. But I honestly don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go over, <laughs> but I really like it. So yeah, we're up late doing, doing that. She's doing most of the wrapping this year. I'm doing editing. And tomorrow we get to do something really, really Really, really really exciting so i'm glad we're planning ahead right now for the christmas stuff because tomorrow we get to go to queen's house and meet the twins the kids are so excited like they've been asking like when can we go when can we go when we when can we go and we're like calm down let them like let them get home let them like experience being at home colleen and eric and us wanted to make sure that the twins had a good like adapting from the NICU and that they kind of figured things out a little bit before they were bombarded with guests. And we have met Wesley. We haven't talked about it because it was a time when it was kind of like their private special bonding time. We haven't held him and the kids haven't held him, but we got to see him very briefly and go like, oh, he's really and then cute. leave him alone and he's adorable. Yeah. Um, but we haven't met like twins together yet. And I might get to hold you think so? I, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know that the kids will be able to, but Queen was like, holding twins is like the best feeling in the world. She's like holding two newborn babies is like incredible. So hoping I'll get to hold them, but we'll see. I also don't want to like put any pressure on anybody in that crew. So I don't know, but I'm really excited. Babies, so many of the two babies, they're so, so cute. Hi, let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that you can't say good morning in this house without everyone else chiming in. Even the cheese. We learned that Teddy loves his bears. No joke, just a cute picture. I wanted to show it again. And finally we learned that if there's a funny angle happening with the camera, it's probably because someone's sitting on a baby shark. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.